Hello, this is Lord Grasden the Nobody Dragon with another episode of Cookhouses and Chefs. Once again, we're going into Hero's Feast, but the human section this time for an entree instead of an appetizer. The Traveler's Stew. Nothing is more welcoming, welcoming to the battered, trail-weary adventurer than the unmistakable scent of beef and ale wafting from a bubbling, flame-lecked cauldron. Find a seat near the inn's blackened hearth and take a load off. Warmth and safety are finally at hand. This serve the slow cooked concoction consisting of beef or broth, carrots, potatoes, and onions, and a dark beer infused broth is served in eating establishments everywhere from the Green Dragon Inn and the Yawning Portal to El Fates Eatery and the Inn of the Last Home. Be warned, traveler, it won't taste right without a wooden bowl and soup. I don't have a wooden bowl of soup. But it's gonna taste fine anyway. So called for a bowl with some flour and salt and pepper. Now I got the stew beef. And it's time. Yeah, toss the beef in the stuff. Once again, I'm not a professional. Don't do what I do. This is probably wrong and unsafe. But what professional chefs have this kind of charm? Right. I'm pulling it out like this because I want to avoid uh, blood all over in the stuff. section of the book and go figure. Surprisingly even the drow entry is gonna be a vegetarian thing. That's actually a surprising development. Uh well I should toss before I try to clean up. Get them all coated. Because in the pot, it's going to be a multi purposeful pot. It's going to be, well, it's currently oil. And it's what this is all going to go into. And yeah, just getting it all coated somewhat evenly, as evenly as possible. I'm not a trained chef. I've never worked in the kitchen. I've never gone to chef school. Uh, I thought about it, but I mean, I enjoy cooking for like people, mostly people I know, so I can get their reaction and uh, soak up their praise like a incubus soaks up love. Well, I say love. It's more lust. Wash, wash, wash. I'm back. Well, I probably should have had the heat going beforehand. Do, do, do. Get that warmed up. And I got a plate because I'm going to be like brown, getting them browned and then to the plate and then browning and plate, browning and plate. For 
forgot to grab a utensil. I try to be kind of like, you know, professional and have all the stuff over here so I'm not running off camera when I don't need to. But, excuse me. Uh, Alright. I'm not touching it, I'm just hovering my hand to check the warmth. So, this is going to be an interesting video because I cannot record it all in one sitting. Because this is going to simmer for a hot minute. But luckily, I know a friend who's going to go ahead and edit the two videos, and I'm going to give him like 50 bucks, because he's my buddy. And who knows, maybe, maybe I'll try to put together money so I can like pay him to edit more videos so that they're not so uh, unprofessional or something. I don't know. We'll see. Because I don't know how to do it. I should probably figure out how to do it, because then I don't have to pay someone to do it. I'll figure it out. Alright. That's probably warm, right? I'll wait a little bit longer. One thing you'll probably notice is that I like do a lot of this instead of using this cloth that's right here. Uh, that's because, again, I'm not professional. I'm a fucking animal. Luckily, no one besides me is going to be eating this, so if anybody's going to get sick or poisoned or what have you, uh, it's just going to be me. No one else must need to suffer. too much in because I don't want to like crowd the bottom of the pan too much and you know what's the rush? I'm not going anywhere. There we go. Got that sizzling sound. There's a bit more in there. Grab tongs, because it'll be easier to grab them with tongs than with a spoon. So, some tongs over here? Oh, that'd be too convenient. One second. some soups and stews and stuff like that for uh, for a bunch of my friends we were hanging out and did a party and I made this uh, really good uh, seafood stew it's uh, tilapia because tilapia is cheap and good and shrimp and it was like a tomato base and it was really really good Oh, 
Something like beef sizzling. If this is there, I can talk. Beef sizzling sounds.
That is something I'm working on. Oh, that wasn't loud. You find the bowling there. But, uh, yeah, I know how fat I am, and I'm working on it. You know? Like, there's nothing wrong with being whatever size you want to be, but I want to be healthier. You know? I want to improve my chances of surviving the potential zombie apocalypse. Which probably won't happen, but, you know, hey, you know what they say about assumptions? They're for, they're, there's no really way to put it that doesn't, I mean, there's def, it's definitely past the whole arbitrary, don't swear for this amount of time to avoid demonetization, not that I'm being monetized anyway, but, yeah, don't do assumptions. <laughs> But, uh, to ramble back to what I was talking about earlier, I enjoy cooking for other people a lot. So I can, because I really enjoy being, it's really vain to say this, but I really enjoy being praised for the work that I do. Uh, and people enjoy food. Like, so it's an easy way to get praised and to be good at cooking, you know? I like food. I like food too much, and I, but I like it. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to be eating this over the next few days. Uh, I kind of ate all the, the set of eight asparagus bundles that I made early, uh, for the uh, Monday video, but, uh, you know, they were small. And, you know, eight of them, that's... There's green, it's healthy, leave me alone, you know, whatever. So, like I said in the other video, which I'm recording on the same day as this one, uh, I do want to try and get other people into these, like, I don't know, maybe my buddy Ed, he likes teas, and there's some tea recipes in this book, and, I don't know, some other people, who knows, maybe include sections where it's like, actually eating the food, uh, asparagus is good, like, I'm not a, really an asparagus guy, but I enjoy them, they are fine, you know, and they were easy to put together, just, bam, bam, bam. Put them in the oven. Maybe like a couple more minutes to get the bacon a bit more crisp. Uh, yeah, I was checking the phone. Not really professional. Uh, another thing I'm trying to uh, be better about. One thing I'm looking forward to making that I'm not going to be able to make today, I think I mentioned that in the asparagus video, but. I'll be making the, uh, a pudding for, and here I was just talking about how I want to be better about my weight and stuff. Here I'm all excited about pudding. But who doesn't like chocolate pudding? You know, people like pudding, people like chocolate. It's going to be great, there's going to be alcohols in it and like shaved chocolate. Hopefully I actually get done and out on Friday since I keep talking about how it's going to be Friday. Uh, I'll definitely try. And this video should be ready to go up on Wednesday. So, happy Wednesday. It is Wednesday, my dudes. Did that originate with the frog or with the guy in the Spider-Man suit? Let me know in the comments. You're done with the final batch of grounding. The final round. So, I don't know. We're done with the round.
Yeah, and the beard. The beard and the beef and the broth and the pepper cat. Because it's going to be pepper cat. Oh no. Well, it called for one cup. The bottle's probably worth one cup, right? It's probably fine. It's probably fine. Might be a bit much. It's probably fine. It's gonna thick up. Alright. Then, scrape up any resid residual meats. back in. Meat back in. Then the broth. Which I'm pretty sure it's. I got my own dub just be wasting time measuring this out. But after the beer, I feel foolish. Yeah, this was four cups. I dirtied this for nothing. I'm a fool. Oh. Like I knew that. I've done this. I've, I've used stock before, but I'm a fool. I'm a foolish fool. Paprika time. Calls for one teaspoon. So two. Two half teaspoons. Give that a little stir. Alright, we're going to be dropping the heat down low, low, low. Covering this bad boy. With the lid. What else we got to grab? This is going to sit for two hours. See, that's what I meant when I said it was going to be sitting for a hot minute. A minute. A hot minute. Uh, all right. So, I will be back in two hours. Two hours later. And we're back. It's uh, been over two hours, but uh, that's because I forgot about the fact that after the meat stuff, uh, the stock and stuff with just the meat is done simmering, it then needs about half an hour for the yellow onion, yogurt potatoes, and carrots that I added in half an hour ago need to spend half an hour, you know, softening. And I didn't feel like trying to fill half an hour of empty space. So, smelling good. Sorry, I forgot to close the egg cakes with the dog in the way. All right, all right, carrots for a go.
gonna need some more salt and pepper though. I'm gonna grab a spoon. So I can taste the broth. Oh. Hot. I actually appreciate the flavor if you burn it and you come.